Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how to do this gorgeous fan type border which you can see it sort of um, looks like it's woven behind the last one and it looks really interesting. This isn't my pattern, I've seen this on a couple of videos now and I shall put them in uh, links to those videos in the description box down below but I've only seen Russian videos so um, I'm not a native Russian speaker and most of my viewers aren't so um, I've just done this video in English so I'm not taking away um, any credit here this definitely isn't my pattern and I will definitely be putting links to those videos in the description box to the people that originally put this on YouTube so um, yeah not you know all dis <laughs> full disclaimer <laughs> not mine but um, I'm just bringing to you an uh, English worded version. The thing about the Russian videos is that I haven't seen them go around a corner so I kind of worked that out and I've put that in because it is a border stitch so let's face it we're going to be using it on things that are probably rectangular shape or squared shape um, so there's always a corner to deal with well I love this stitch and uh, yeah I'm going to get on and show you how to do it okay so to start off with I have just done a chain with a random number of uh, chains and then I just did a treble stitch into each one of the chains so you may know that as a double but I'm British so I call that a treble stitch um, if you don't know the difference they're both the same thing it's just there just happens to be two names for them confusing I know I'm sorry about that but that's what it is and I do have a link in my in all my videos uh, in the description box down below of a video where I discuss the names of the stitches so um, yeah kind of like a conversion table so So to start off with, you're going to chain three and that's going to be a replacement treble. And we're going to turn the work because um, if you're right handed, you work right to left. And into the next three stitches, so at one, two, three, we're going to do one treble. So I'll just do that. So it kind of you have four trebles all together. And this is how I worked out that it's worked across four stitches. <laughs> OK, so. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, right now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to turn the work back around, so right to, to left, and into that third chain that we did there, we're just going to do a slip stitch. Okay, so nothing too difficult so far. Now chain one and turn the work back the other way so we're now working right to left again and we're going to work into this loop here so now we're going to do seven trebles into that loop so one two three four five six seven okay so we've this is what we started off with. We've added these four trebles, then we did four chains and looped it back and did a slip stitch. Then we turned it around again and we now work, work back this way. Right, this is so simple, it's unbelievable. The next thing you do is work one treble into the next four stitches. Uh, so that's from, and that's the four stitches from that first row that you did. So this could be the edge of um, a blanket or a cushion cover or, or whatever it is that you're working on. So, um, yeah, just go with the flow, as they say. <laughs> okay, so there's my four trebles. So you're probably well ahead of me now, and you probably totally guessed it, but I'm going to say it anyway. You now do four chains. One, two, three. Four. You're going to turn the work and this time we're going to do a slip stitch and we're going to do it around this join here. So we're going to put the hook around the back and through the hole, grab the yarn and put it through and just you're just doing a slip knot like that. So you've kind of locked that chain there down. So I'm going to undo that and do that again just so you could see where I put the the hook and everything. 
and I'll probably just zoom in for this bit actually. Okay, so I hope that I hope you can see that nice and clearly. So I've done the four chains and I'm going to do a slip stitch, but I'm just going to put the hook in that gap there and up through that loop part there, grab the yarn and pull it through and we're just doing a slip stitch so we're just putting that loop through that loop there okay that's the most tricky part done then we're going to chain one and then we'll turn the work back around and I shall zoom out in a moment and we'll do seven trebles again into that loop there okay so you just start doing your seven trebles into that four chain space one Okay, I'll just take the hook out there and as you can see you get this lovely sort of wave pattern here which I think looks so cool. It looks so complicated and yet it isn't. So you just carry on doing that. So let me just show you how to get out of a tight spot. So if you've come to the end of your row and you only have three stitches left, what I would do is do one treble. Into the next one I would do two trebles. And then into the next one, I would do one treble. And then that gives you your four. Okay, so you'd only do that if you'd come to the end and you've got three stitches left. Likewise, if you've got um, two stitches, I would two stitches left, I would do two trebles into each. If you've got one, just do a slip stitch into it and you're done. Okay, so that's one way of getting around not having enough stitches on a row. But let me just do a couple more of these fans and then I shall come back and show you how I approached the corner. OK, OK, so I've done a couple more. And now what I want to do is I want to imagine that I have a corner here. So um, imagine that is now I've got, you know, my corner stitch there. So um, I kind of got all anxious about it, didn't know what to do. And I just went for it. And what I did was I did in one in the next stitch along, I did two trebles a chain and then two trebles into that one same stitch uh, so that was just one stitch along I did two trebles a chain and two trebles and I kind of like oh that looks good so I went with it did four chains one two three four so I just had to adjust my background there <laughs> all sort of disappeared in front of me so I did my four chains and I turned and I just did exactly what I've been doing all the way around so far and I just did my slip stitch into that same place that we've been doing it as before just around that post bit there chain one turn and then my seven trebles seven and I think if I just take that out you'll see that it went round the corner quite nicely. <laughs> so I was very pleased with that. So then I just carried on going back down this side, doing the same thing with one treble into the next four. So the straight edges are just back to how we've been doing it before. So there we go. I have just done that corner part there and I did one down the side there. So I think you'll agree that kind of brings it around the corner quite nicely. It's quite pleased with that. If you found that this corner was kind of pulling up, you know, it was a bit short, you could add in some a couple more chains definitely and then a couple more or a couple yeah, add in like a chain and then two more trebles. So for every one chain that you add, add two trebles if that makes sense work with just play with it but um that corner worked out really well i think um yes you could put in a little pico stitch at the top of these um sort of waves i think that would look really cute um, i've got a video on how to do a pico stitch in my description box down below or pop up here somewhere a little eye if you're watching on a smartphone or a tablet um, yeah, not seen the corner version on the videos i've watched so hopefully this will be helpful to someone like I say, you know, if you haven't got enough stitches, you can always shoehorn in another bit. It's really easy to do. If you like these sort of videos, give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you did. And why not subscribe? Hit that big red button with a white arrow in, down in that corner just down here. 
down there <laughs> that um, really helps my channel and it gives you notices of when I've uploaded a new video which is once every week if you have any comments or questions about what I've done in this video or any of my videos do drop me a line comments box down below I'll always try and get back to you as soon as possible and uh, hopefully I'll be able to help you with any queries that you have okay so I'll just say goodbye now and I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video we're going to be making these cute little butterflies they are so adorable they're so quick and easy to make great for using up little bits of yarn and I think they will just